Hi guys, this is Dawn from Creative Appliques and Creative Cuts SVG. Today I wanted to do a short tutorial on importing SVG designs into the Cricut design space. Um, people have been messaging me when they purchase the SVG designs that they are having a hard time. The SVG is not importing or they can't find it or it's not uploading and uh, I want to let you know that I I uh, contacted Cricut about the issue. They are very well aware that there is a glitch in the system, there's a bug, and they're, um, they're actively trying to fix it and solve it, but they're not sure when this is going, there will be a solution. So I wanted to do a short video to show you how to import um, an SVG file. I have spent hours trying to resize them and make them smaller, and it's it does it's not working so uh, it's not just my SVG files that this is happening with it's many other independent companies that um, are selling SVG files uh, not within the Cricut store so let's get started I want to show you how to do this so um, I've already uploaded a picture so I've started a new project you can see it says untitled it's a new project there's nothing over here on my mat and I'm gonna click on upload And right I'm now I'm going to choose our unicorn. So I click on that and then I click on insert images. And you can see now the the Cricut software is working. The green bar here is scanning. There's it's circling over here. The layers are circling um, to be imported into the the Cricut design space. It will take a little bit of time. Um, for it to upload but it will eventually show up on the mat once these green circles stop spinning we will see that the design has loaded Eventually, it will load up. Okay, so when we look here on the mat, we're not seeing the unicorn at all. And as we scroll down, we can see and uh, hear that there is something, but when we go and look further, we can't find it. So let me show you what to do, because we know that it is here because we can see right here all the separate layers of the unicorn itself. So if you look up here where it says size, and you have the width here and the height, there are several things you can do. I like to just click on it and change the size. And since the lock here is locked, it shows the, the design, um, it will resize the design proportionally all at once. So I'm just gonna pick the number eight because eight for eight inches. And I'm gonna type it on my compu computer keyboard and hit enter. So now we see the design has now been resized to eight inches by eight inches, but we still are not, we can see it here, okay? So if you want, then you can click on the design and drag it up. One of the things that I like to do is just go over here to the X position and type zero, and then in the Y position type zero and hit enter, and it brings the design up into the design space. So that took all of maybe, you know, 10 15 seconds to do that but this way you can see that the design is here um, and all we needed to do was resize it and then you can go ahead and save the project um, you can then do separate the layers to be able to work with them by simply right clicking on it and select ungroup and you will then have ungrouped all of the pieces of the unicorn that you can there then go ahead and save each one of them, uh, sorry, cut each one of them individually in the colors that you need. So I hope this information was helpful for you guys today. If um, you have any other questions, something else I can help you to solve, let me know. Thanks.